So, you started a Facebook group and you started getting people into that Facebook group and then once you got people into the Facebook group, you started making posts. But for some reason, you're wondering why in the world is no one seeing my post in my Facebook group? Yeah. We all win when we all win. I'm an organic marketing coach who has helped hundreds of people build systems so that they could find their next clients online. And today, I'm going to go over with you specifically why no one is seeing any of your posts in your Facebook group. Let's go. All right. So let's, first things first, let's identify a Facebook group and let's identify Facebook, right? We need to identify what those two are because that's how you're delivering this information, right? That's what you're delivering this information on. On. So it's very, very important that we understand not only what those are, but how they work so that we can do our best to use the tool of Facebook and of a Facebook, uh, Facebook group post to our advantage so that we can have as many people see those posts and get our message out to that marketplace and out to the people in our group the fastest way possible. And ultimately, what we need to identify is that, of course, Facebook is a social media network. What that means is, is that it's a network that wants to connect people around the world through the internet, through a portal, okay? Someone can log into Facebook, and when they log into Facebook, they can see other people from around the world. What Facebook decided to do very early on um, in its, you know, in, in Facebook's life was it decided to start grouping together people of like-minded interests and giving you the opportunity to create Facebook groups and having those Facebook groups of like-minded people to give you the opportunity to conjugate people into one spot and ultimately having those people all have like-minded interests and like-minded, uh, you know, basically have like-minded interests and all be interested in the same thing. So ultimately, by having a Facebook group, you're giving the opportunity to go out and find a lot of people who are interested around said subject. So you've created this Facebook group on Facebook, the social media, you've created this Facebook group with the goal in mind to collaborate with conjugated people with a like-minded interest, usually, right? But the first thing we need to identify is what is the group's goal, right? What is that group's goal? And ultimately, what are you doing inside that group that's going to help you reach that goal? And ultimately, the posts then just become the delivery mechanism that you're able to do to reach that goal and we'll go over how you can get more people to see those posts a little bit later in this video. So before I go over with you the Facebook group algorithm and exactly how this algorithm in Facebook group is going to affect specifically who and who does not see your Facebook post, I want to ask you a question. Do you currently have a Facebook group or are you looking to build one? Let me know in the comments below. All right, so let's go into the next part about this. And with any software, with any portal, with really any social media platform, you're going to have what's called an algorithm. And that's a fancy word for basically saying, how are we going to put the information that is being entered into our portal? So, you know, how are we going to take the post that's being entered into Facebook and how are we going to distribute those posts? It's a lot of them. How are we going to distribute those posts out to the people that are on the platform? And what Facebook has decided is that it's really going to identify itself. I mean, it's really going to um, have itself follow three sets of rules through what's classified as the Facebook algorithm to decide which posts are going to get seen by more people. And I'm going to go over with you real quick here exactly what these three things are so that you can understand exactly how the Facebook algorithm works and exactly how you can use the Facebook algorithm to get your posts seen by more people. So first, in, when it comes to the Facebook Facebook algorithm and putting posts out online for them to be seen by more people. We need to understand why Facebook would want to um, show specific posts to more people and other posts not to as many people, right? So the way this works is, is Facebook is paid one way, right? Remember, it's a for-profit company. They're paid one way. And the way that they get paid is they get paid through paid advertising. That means that if someone looks at an advertisement that is on Facebook, Facebook is getting paid for someone to see that advertisement. We call that an impression. Okay, so ultimately, the more impressions or the more you know eyes on ad that Facebook can get, right, from people on its platform, the more money they can get paid. So because that's the rule, what Facebook wants to make sure that we do is that Facebook wants to make sure that we go out there and with whatever content that we're putting out there organically for free, right, that it's keeping people on Facebook, keeping people on the app, because ultimately, if people fall off the app from the posts that we're putting out onto Facebook, that's going to lose. That's going to you know have Facebook losing money because people left their app and they couldn't see advertisements. So ultimately, what we want to make sure is, is understanding that Facebook is going to keep our post inside Facebook um, 
to people that are going to stay on Facebook and ultimately engage with those posts. So engagement becomes the first big pillar when it comes to exactly how the Facebook algorithm works. And engagement stands for people liking, loving, commenting, you know, um, sharing, talking about, you know, clicking on, clicking see more, looking at your photos, looking at your videos, or people engaging with the content that you put out. Because if people are not engaging with the content, then Facebook's gonna deem that content is not something that's gonna keep people on their platform and is ultimately then going to only show it to 20 or 25 people and then after it gets shown to those people and does not get engaged with Facebook very quickly is going to take it out of the feed. The second part of this, of uh, this three-part series of how Facebook works is what we call affinity. And affinity is not about engagement, but about who you're talking to and who initially Facebook is gonna put those posts out in front of next. So the way Facebook, again, all falls back toward, well, how are we going to keep people on our platform so we can get paid more money through more people seeing paid advertisements? Ultimately, what Facebook is then going to decide to do is it's going to play the game of if you are positively talking to someone on its network, that means through DM, that means through comments, that means are you commenting on their post? Are they commenting on yours? That is going to deem the first people that typically are going to see your post when they get posted out onto Facebook. So it's it's a really neat thing because you can really leverage affinity to be talking to like prospects and people that you want to talk to, right? Or people that are in your Facebook group and maybe that you want to sign up. And what's really cool about that is you can purposely talk to people through Facebook's platform and there's a good chance that they're going to be seeing those next posts that you're about to post on Facebook's platform. And ultimately it's going to allow you to leverage this part of the Facebook algorithm to get more of your posts seen by the right people. And last and certainly not least is what we classify as time decay. And time decay is where when you put out a post and like I was mentioning with engagement and say it stops getting engagement after so long, well then that post goes out of the feed. But have you ever noticed that like come birthday time, come Christmas time, come holiday time, whatever it might be, you get those posts from Facebook that might say a year ago you were doing this, two years ago you were doing this, or you might see a post floating around, you know, around the holiday season where some people, somebody started commenting on that post again. And when somebody started commenting on that post again, Facebook deemed that post as you know, an engaging post, a post that's gonna keep people on its platform. So now that it's a post that's gonna keep people on its platform, Facebook then throws that post back into the feed because it's been engaged with up to 60 seconds until someone or something does not engage with that post for 60 seconds, which is then the trigger of us knowing that the post after 60 seconds or around 60 seconds is then gonna be taken out of the feed, ultimately to be taken out until it gets engaged with again. And what's really, really important about these three pillars of engagement, affinity and time decay is understanding how you can use this in your Facebook group. So think about it this way, you know, when you're putting out posts in a Facebook group, understanding now that you understand that Facebook algorithm, what types of posts are you going to put in the Facebook group that's going to help you get more engagements? That's going to be the post that's talking to your right people and ultimately going to help your post stay in the feed so it doesn't get taken out with time decay a lot, you know, get, stay in the feed a lot longer so time decay doesn't come out and take it out in just a mere 60 seconds. So before I go over two specific tips on exactly how you can get your posts seen by more people without having to worry about, you know, depending on that Facebook algorithm that we just talked about, I want to remind you to subscribe to this channel. I'm putting out new and exciting videos every single day, helping everybody who's watching this channel with how to find their next clients online organically. That means without spending any money on paid advertisements. Click on that link below to subscribe. All right, so now that you know exactly what the Facebook algorithm is, it's very important for you to understand. We do not need to be dependent on the Facebook algorithm, especially when it comes to a group where you're conjugating a bunch of uh, people with same and similar interests that are interested in what it is that you're talking about within the theme of that Facebook group. So there's two specific ways that I wanna talk to you about when it comes to making sure that your posts are going to get seen more inside your Facebook group. And the first way is through commenting and tagging the people that you want to see the Facebook post inside the comments of that Facebook post. So here's a couple of reasons why this works. Ultimately, when you're gonna go into a Facebook post and you're going to tag someone as a comment inside that Facebook post, what's going to happen is, is when you tag them, they're gonna get notified by Facebook that they were just tagged in this group inside Facebook. And ultimately, that's gonna give them the opportunity to see not only was a post put in the group, but that a post was put in the group and that them specifically was tagged to come and look at that post, which is going to entice them to wanna see what it was they were tagged in and ultimately give them more of a chance to see that content that you put in the group.
And then the next thing, the second thing that I want to go over with you about ultimately, so you don't have to worry about the Facebook algorithm when looking to get more people to see your post on Facebook, uh, and your Facebook group is ultimately through email. You are looking to build a distribution list of a way that you can communicate with your people inside your Facebook group. And one of the best ways to do this is through email. When you build a Facebook group, and even if you have one built right now and you haven't done this, you can still go in there and do this, is you have the opportunity to ask people questions when they enter that Facebook group. And one of the questions that you can ask them when they enter that Facebook group is what is their email? Ultimately, by getting their email, you can let them know that you're going to be sending out um, stuff about the Facebook group and what's happening in the Facebook group so that they can be informed and, under, and not miss a thing when they enter the Facebook group. And ultimately, this also gives you the opportunity to send out announcements and, and, and post through email, letting them know what it is that you put out and giving them the opportunity to see it. Because when you send out an email to people, it, get, you know, it gets sent to their inbox. Right? There's a guarantee it gets sent to their inbox and they will make the choice to see it or not. You don't want to worry about some algorithm making the choice of if they're going to see it or not. And that's a major difference. So make sure that if you're wanting someone to see the specific post or all the specific posts that are in your Facebook group, follow these two hacks. You're able to tag people in the Facebook group, which is going to notify them about you doing that, which is going to get them to go look at the message in the group. Or you're able to email the list of the group members that you have in the group through acquiring their email through the questions that you get when they enter the Facebook group. And ultimately, you're that you then have two distribute two types of distribution that you're able now to send out messages to of people inside your Facebook group that's going to help you guarantee to see more people who um, seeing your post inside that Facebook group. So are you looking to build a Facebook group where you can attract your perfect prospects and find your next clients online organically for free? Then my super online organic prospecting system bundle is just for you. And my super online organic prospecting system bundle is comprised of three of my best selling courses all geared around helping you find your next client online. And right now you can claim your super online organic prospecting system bundle for over 97% off. Just click on the link in the description or head to www.supersidsbundle.com bundle.com and claim your super online organic prospecting system bundle today. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. And don't forget, we all win when we all win. I choose to win today and I hope you choose to win by clicking that link below, claiming your super online organic prospecting system bundle and I cannot wait to see you on the other side. We'll see you in the next training. Talk soon. Let's go. We all win when we all win. All win when we all win